guys and welcome back to the CTSC perspective that is right another week another match day another match day vlog in today's video we are on our way down to Villa Park to watch Aston Villa versus Crystal Palace there's not that much to split the sides literally one point between them only a few goal difference both teams have played 35 games and e even so they're on exactly the same form I believe three wins in their last five you'd argue say Villa are definitely definitely the lead runners for this game only losing to Tottenham and Liverpool in their last five games they've got the home advantage and these are the bookies odds on screen i'm really looking forward to it because unless i am wrong in the comment section below please leave your opinions this is the first premier league stadium on the channel if you don't count stamford bridge so i'm quite happy about that it's a new thing i've heard very good things about villa park and i can't wait to get down there it's only a few hours before kickoff now but just shortly, I'm going to try and keep the vibes all positive with you. I'm not going to lie, I've had a really tough week. A lot of stuff hasn't really gone my way. Nevertheless, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do enjoy the content, lately, thank you for all the support. We're almost at 1.6 thousand subscribers. It's going absolutely mental on the channel. This is the one thing, one of the only things that's keeping me going right now. So if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button, it helps share the video around and join the family by smashing that subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so you know when the video goes live. Like I said, drop a comment down to the comment section. I'll try and answer every single one of them and yeah let's get into the video just making our way down to the ground now here are the lineups <laughs> 20 minutes for kickoff now i just realized it's 40 years since aston villa lifted the european cup so everyone's got the special flags as you can see behind me um first thoughts about the stadium it looks as special as many people think it's obviously it's not full up yet so there'll be a side to hold both lineup seems strong i can see a 2-1 aston villa win i'm excited to see the new Four-year deal man, Felipe Coutinho in the flesh. See if he's still got it. Quite a good touch to a guard of honour for the team of 1982. Games about to start. Come on, boys. Last chance for Stillers win. They really should have taken it. Second chance of a match for Danny Ings. Grad is hard in the Olympics and stuff. Third chance of the game for Daddy Ings. Oh, he's wearing hearts and heads. Yeah. 
try and whistle's just gone. The dogs, the most of the chances more like Danny Ainge, should have at least got one or at least got two of them on target. The most of the match so far has been Conor Gallagher, seeing him in the flesh on load. He seems like an amazing footballer, and I definitely hear him back at Chelsea next season. But other than that, it's been a really even half. The third to be a nil nil, and I expect a lot more in the second half. I don't think the manager can make any changes, but like I said, it's a mid table class, and they might even be looking for a point, but I'd say definitely search those three points. Let's get into the second half. Another big save for Emilio and Martinez. Still no nil, 65 minutes played. The Crystal Palace players are complaining to the referee about a possible foul having on goal. I think it will be given though. And Neil went off the defender. Ollie Watkins is claiming it. Back post, post his effort. 1 0 Villa. A little bit of a pull, but it went to VAR and the goal still given. 1 0. A chance on the other end now, corner, come on boys. Is it guys first time at Villa Park? I'm not gonna lie, I don't think even the most loyal of Villa fan would say that it was quite underwhelming today. I'd say the fans were quite silent, it might be just because there was nothing to play for. But yeah, the game really screamed that as well. Big chance was missed, not the teams pressing. Obviously, Crystal Palace did well. They didn't make the most of their actual free kick, but they worked hard to get the ball back in the box and get the equaliser. Aston Villa's goal was quite scrappy as well as the tap into the back post. And I don't know, I've looked at it back on the clip. I probably would have said it would have been disallowed, but nevertheless, it's a point each side. I think they're still even on the table, both still fighting for that uh, top half of the table. Finish through their final game of the season. If you did enjoy the video, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button, how to the video around it, really, really would appreciate it. If you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when the video goes live. Join the family, we're about to hit 1,600 subscribers. It would mean the world to me if you can do that as well. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or queries, drop them down in the comment section. Try and answer every single one of them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.